If you search up the most famous food in LA, you'll likely be left with just one word, tacos. But there are over 4,000 registered taco trucks in LA and even more taquerias, so I'm gonna need some help. We'll be splitting into teams of two to visit as many places as we possibly can. While Cooge and QCP will handle a bunch of spots in East LA, Linja and I will be going west. When we get going, I gotta feed the buns. I'll call the Uber. Stop it, I got this. Hey. Hey, two Lamborghini Urises, just like you asked. Purple and gold for LA. You're the best. I eat sandwiches. You as well. I make pasta. That's a great occupation. F you though. Oh, oh. He scratches his. Oh. I know your sister too. So naturally, we thought it'd be a lot of fun to start all together. And for our first location, we're going to none other than Taco Bell. Word on the street is it's one of the best in LA. I can't wait to try it. It's gonna be the medium for the entire day. I love their nachos. Throughout the day, we'll all be tasting at different places, but ultimately we'll come together at the end of the day to talk about who is the victor. Pooj, what kind of taco do we even get in this? I'll be honest, never had Taco Bell in my entire life. Is this KFC? It looks like, whoa. Wait, are you guys Taco Bell and KFC? Yes. Okay, That's good to know. Crazy. That's a first, so we're a little confused. Yeah, can we get two Crunchy Taco Supreme? The fact that I haven't had any breakfast, this is my breakfast, is like kind of disgusting. You got it? Cooge on the card. All I know is Nick better be paying for Lindsay, you know what I mean? Two regular tacos, please. And mild sauce. Do you want mild sauce? Oh, one mild sauce, please. All right, Linda. You can't eat tacos without sauce. That's what makes a taco. Shame on you, Nick. You know, I haven't had a uh, taco from Taco Bell for a while, Linda. Me neither. Gotta put the sauce on. Let's find the best taco in LA. Yeah. It's pretty decent. It's actually pretty good. You got that nice grated cheese and that pretty fresh looking lettuce. Mm -hmm. And the beef is seasoned really well. My one critique would be there's not a whole lot of beef. The proportions and ratios in this thing are quite off. Where's the beef? Hey, where's the beef? All right, here we go. You know there's a problem when you take a bite and you feel some movement in your stomach like instantly. But you know, what am I gonna say? What am I gonna do? It's Taco Bell. You get what you pay for. Look at this garbage, classless ingredients. I don't know why we did Taco Bell first. We should have did it last. I ran out of toilet paper in my whole thousand room too. Last time when we did pizza reviews, Linja's numbers were way too high. Linja, what's your review? Nine. You guys are starting so high right out of the gates, our first place. She's gotta bring it down today, but luckily she's a taco connoisseur. I'm gonna leave Taco Bell with a solid six and a half out of 10, and that's a really good starting score. I'm giving it a seven. Oh, I think I got sauce on the Lamborghini. I hate when that happens. We're gonna do a four tree. Ah, uh, that's what I was going for. I was going for a solid four, but a four three is pretty nice. Our second stop is Whole Box. They have a very unique taco, scallop and octopus. Linji, you ready? Yep. Get your head against the seat. Okay. <laughs> Oh, you gotta be kidding me right now. Oh, this is just the worst. Well, I think you're a pretty noticeable car. Did I have your license registered? Yeah, of course, I do, I do. So we rented this. Yeah, this is my car. We do all food content. Slauson and Avalon, people rave about them. I think they're okay. And my favorite, honestly, is Santa Fe and Olympic. I'm writing all this down. King Taco. King Taco. just the driving. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, I'm actually a really responsible driver usually. I once just got a new car accident. Sorry. How fast does this thing go? I'll find out. Oh! There's a Michelin star restaurant literally like right down the street. It's a Michelin star restaurant? Yeah, Michelin star. Whole box is a Michelin star restaurant. Oh, we're going there right now. A lot of officers go there a lot because the food is just amazing. I'm really glad you guys pulled us over. <laughs> yeah. One thing we know is food. <laughs> Thank you so much. Have a good one. Oh my god. So after that little snafu, we are pulling up to Whole Box, which the cops let us know has a Michelin star. Oh, this is beautiful. A very unassuming store, kind of randomly yeah. in this little food court. This place doesn't mess around. Could we do the Kampachi Onita Sada? Yeah. The scallop taco? Got it. And one of the octopus. Gotta get a bunch of the different sauces. At least according to Linja. Shame on you, Nick. Like Linja said, part of today is all about the salsa. 
Oh, that's good salsa. That is good. It's like a spicy peanut, really spicy. Oh yeah, it hits you right after. Kicks you right in the teeth, but it's good. We know this isn't technically a taco, but because sea urchin is my second favorite food behind rotisserie chickens, I figured we'd try it. Oh my God. That is really good. That's nice. <laughs> so we have the taco de pulpo, the octopus taco. Oh my god. And here we have the hand seared main diver scallop, and then we also sent one of our classic Baja fish tacos. Beautiful. Thank you so much. This is amazing. Lynch is in the restroom. You snooze, you lose. I can tell all the tortillas are homemade, fresh off the griddle. I'm gonna start with the octopus taco. I'm getting smacked all across the face in this place with flavor. Scallop taco. Unbelievable. You want some octopus? No. I know this is only the second spot we visited. Obviously, we had a bit of a slowdown today. Oh, I'm getting pulled over. But I'm going to give this a 9 out of 10. I'm going to give this a 10 out of 10. Oh. We're on our way to El Cabo Pepe's Beer and Tacos fourth generation recipe. Are you kidding me? That's straight class. Woo! Man. We're at Pepe's Red Tacos. Here it is. Can we get two juicy tacos? What was that? We're doing a little taste taste test. It's a whole a whole bone marrow and a whole taco, something like that. Considering it's 24 bucks for two tacos. This ain't Taco Bell, no Taco Bell. We got our tacos. It's legitimately an entire bone marrow. I've never seen this before. Where do you get this at a taco truck? Nowhere. Just scraped in the clay. That's oh. hot though. Man, oh. yeah. Man. Man. I'm gonna taste the bone marrow by itself. It's fatty, flavorful. A little dip. Hot. That's fire. Whoa. I'm gonna slurp the bone out. That made me happy. A4. That's a fair school. You never know what's coming next. That's true, though. But this is setting it high. Next up, we're hitting this taco truck that has a famous Al Pastor taco. And supposedly they slice it right off this large gyro, which I am very excited to see. Just absolutely beautiful. Wait, wait, can I say something about it? No. No. Yeah. Cut the camera. Never had one, very excited to try it. And here it is, right along the side of a gas station. Couldn't have it any other way. There it is, El Pastor. Those El Pastor tacos. The coolest thing about this for me is you see this truck at this gas station, you don't expect so much. And then you look and they have all these extremely fresh looking toppings. You got radish, you got these nice onions and cilantro, lime. I mean, look how fresh the lime is. They're not those dried out, ugly pieces of lime. This is really, really fresh. Thank you. Little bit of lime. Grilled jalapeno, al pastor. <laughs> That's good. The flavor's on point. The meat is, is really well seasoned. And then the best part about it for me is all the toppings are so, so fresh. I don't know if I rate this quite as high as the last one we went to. I'm gonna give it a solid 7.3. 7.5. Walk into the next spot, it's pretty close. We gotta get our steps in today, forget it. We arrived at Tacos de Canasta. I'm ready. Solo dos tacos de chicharrones. Gracias, gracias, gracias. I, I started speaking Italian. I said grazie. We just got our tacos. They look good. Completely different than the last spot, but it's gonna be its own thing. We got something different here. Yeah, it's very low maintenance, high quality. You could tell this is authentic in Mexico. You know, over here in America, we want a fucking massive taco that you can't even put down your pie hole. We gotta judge this in a different level because this is its own thing. But for what it is, the quality, oh, man. For the rating, I'm gonna give this a solid 8-2. Quality is amazing, so I'm gonna have to do the same. 8-2. Next stop is Tacos Iberia La Unica. They are known for birria everything. Nick's gotta try the ramen. I love how in the middle of nowhere these spots are. I mean, you just pull up and there's just a truck in the middle of the road. What is your most famous taco? Taco taco. Can we get two juicy tacos? Can we get two of those, please? And then one birria ramen, please. You want um, sure. It's spicy so. or mild? Uh, spicy. That's not like you, Being authentic. Oh, baby. Look wow. at that. She also did say we can dip these in the birria ramen, which we have right here. And look at all that consomme, that amazing broth that's in there. She suggested we take these tacos and we dip them right in there before eating. Very good. Oh, my God. I like how crunchy the taco is. Oh. And the birria. Look at that. No. Would you look at that? Wow, let's get a little of spicy salsa. Every single place we go, we have this different salsa. It's different colors, it's different textures, different spice levels. Woo! <coughs> good. I just polished that entire taco off. What's the rating? 8.5. I'm gonna give that one a 9.1. Ate the whole thing like a vacuum cleaner. That birria consomme is delicious, flavorful. You have every single texture, every single flavor you could possibly want here. Delicious. We are at Morisco's. El Colima. We're getting tres tacos de camarones dorados. They're making it right in front of us, frying it right here. That's how you know it's good when they're not scared to show you what's going on. Muchas gracias. Caliente? Yeah, so pretty spicy. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> nothing, ain't nothing we haven't seen before. Oh, God. My God. That is something. Wow. This is coming in hot. This is, this is in the eights, that's for sure. We need to do 8.3 Marons. It's a class act taco. This is hitting the spot. I'm giving it an 8.5. We are unwrapped to Trejo's Tacos. Apparently this famous actor, Danny Trejo, do you know him? Oh, he's always the villain in films. Apparently the tacos are not just a gimmick of his fame. They are genuinely good and get high reviews by people. Apparently they have a jackfruit taco. Can't wait. Yeah, can I get one fried chicken and one jackfruit? Oh, it's gonna be 12.05. Lindsay just got me covered. I forgot my credit card in the car. Nick better be paying for Lindsay, you know what I mean? While we wait for our tacos here, this here, I haven't seen it yet, is the new Osmo Pink Himalayan Salt Bundle Pink Grinders. Linja, you haven't seen it yet, have you? No. You ready? Can't wait. It's my favorite color is pink. If you can't tell by her shirt. And now you're gonna have something to match it, Linja. Bed. Open the grinder. Oh gosh, that's beautiful. That is awesome. Look at the color. It's very nice. So the grinders are different now. So you have to hold the button by request of everybody. They liked it better if you hold the button. We got our coarse pink Himalayan oh, salt. Oh, that is awesome. I mean, that's awesome. just, you want to fill it? Oh, I like that sound. Okay. Oh. oh my, it's like a salt cannon, Linja. Yeah. There's the course right there, and then this is the flaky. And then as a throwback, I think we brought back the little grinder set from very, very early on. That's our pink Himalayan stone. And this is the little grinder holder. You can stick that right in there and grate your stone against here. So big, big bundle of Osmo. I'll put the link in the description below. I think our tacos are ready. Why is it on a lettuce wrap? What the hell happened here? What did you order for me? I just got the fried chicken wrap. That's what it must come with. Fried chicken taco. I'm actually gonna go on with some of their house-made hot sauce too. I'm going hot sauce all day. My taste buds are evolving. I have the jackfruit. I'm not sure what to think. Right off the bat, I will say their lime does not look as fresh and juicy as the taco truck. It just doesn't look that good. This is a three out of 10. It's not good. It's, it's fine, but it's just not very good. It looks dry. Thank you. It, it does look dry. It just doesn't feel right. This is amazing. <laughs> it's got substantial texture, which I wasn't expecting. And the sauce is unbelievable. I would just drink the sauce. I think Linja might have screwed me with the order a little bit. I don't know why she got herself a perfect taco and got me this. Pay for it. You get what you get. I rate this an eight. Do you rate this lower than Taco Bell? Absolutely. Oh my God. This I do. Oh. We're at the Santa Rita. Jalisco taco truck. That was a mouthful. They're known for their chicken necks. I don't know about the chicken necks. I don't know about all that. We're gonna pass on the necks because we're not neck bones. We're gonna do the asada. It's a family run joint apparently. Been there since 1992. Can't wait to try. People in the neighborhood said it's class. We just arrived at Santa Rita Jalisco tacos. I gotta go to the bathroom like really bad. We're getting two asada tacos. We haven't had any yet. I'm ready. Okay, thank you. thank you. Dude, every single place has had a different looking taco and that's what's amazing. Just wait till you get to your sister's house. Let's see her taco. Here we go. Mm. <laughs> it's a little spicy. Oh my I God. want my mom. Yeah, I can't really taste as much because the sauce is so hot. I'm gonna have to go straight into it with a 7-6. Yeah, we're gonna do a 7-8 out of then your sister's I have three sisters. I don't know why he does this to me. Yeah, but they have class, so they're not going after me. That made me feel better. Tacos burned our mouths. We got to cool it off with a little pineapple juice. Everyone's telling us to get it here. Everyone's drinking it here. They get something a little sweeter, you know what I mean? Salo. Bang. So refreshing. Tastes oh, no, like yeah. actual pineapple. You know it's hot when I got to take off the hoodie. Matching the Bev with the car. How you doing? How is it in here? Yeah. It smells like or what? Hear that? I'm gonna go ahead and take a second while we drive to change my rating from the first of the day. And I rarely do this. Taco Bell, I like you, but I am going to demote you to a flat <laughs> five out of 10. I'll say my main differentiator is not only the salsa, but also the tortillas themselves. When I think about that Taco Bell tortilla now, it just seems so dry and stale. Now we're on the way to Teddy's Red Tacos. Teddy used to apparently be an Uber driver, but he would sell tacos for fun on the weekends. And when people got in his car, they always said it smelled good and they'd ask him what that was. So he started handing out business cards. One thing led to the next and now he's got 
got this place. The door says push, and it made me look like an idiot because it's a pull. There's two birria, one broth to go. So here we have our birria broth. We have some salsa here, and then look at these birria tacos. These are loaded up. Go ahead, show me how it's done. Dunk that in. I don't even need to dunk this thing. Look at that. I'm gonna do it anyway. That was good. That's spicy. Not overpowering though. Very baby. I'm gonna give the first rating that comes to mind. 7.4 out of 10. 8.2. Throughout the day, I think our standards are going up. Ah, we're almost there. Time for the last two stops. For our next place, we're going to Carnitas El Momo. They were featured on Los Angeles Street Food, episode one. So let's go check it out. I'm excited. The grandfather started it. Grandson's still keeping it going, which is rare to see these days. You love to see it. You love to see the family businesses. You got to support players. What do you want to do? The guy at the last spot told us that this was the move. So super excited we're for it. The move. Let's get some carnitas. Do you just have two carnitas tacos? That will work. It's unbelievable how many different tacos you get. All unique, they all look different. Making it hard to judge. Cheers, Fouge. <laughs> Salud. Mm. That's too much flavor to handle. That's a lot coming at you at one time. Salty as the Pacific quality though. What do you rate it? You know what? It's been an experience. I'm gonna give it an 8.6. Oh, an 8.8. 8.8. Pretty That's high. great. Next stop, Leo's Taco Truck. They pride themselves on having affordable tacos. I hear the Al Pastor is banging. Wait. I didn't run the light. Okay, thank you. Oh my god, yeah. I thought that was me again. <laughs> I <got it laughs> we keep finding taco trucks in gas stations. Apparently that's just a big thing here. Those $4 for two tacos. <laughs> that's affordable. Thank you so much. You know it's a good taco spot when your bag of salsa is heavier than your bag of tacos. This is the most unique one we've had yet, I think, Linja. I mean, the pineapple? The smallest one too, right? wouldn't you agree? Yeah. Oh shoot, horchata's all over oh, me. sorry. No, that's okay. I love horchata on me. Linja, you forgot something. The salsa. Oh, the salsa. The salsa. Ludger, I think it's spicy salsa. That's way too much. <laughs> it's gonna be way too spicy. It's got no really good. It's not that spicy. I'd say it's okay. Actually, the seasoning is really good. 6.4. 5.5. Oh, Linja. We're trying to rating nine. Going to our last spot, Sonora Town. They make their own tortillas, known for their carne asada and their tripe. Tripe is uh, beef intestines, if you don't know what that is. We're here at the last spot, Sonora Town. Let's go inside. We get two tripe tacos and a how you doing? All right, thank you. Hell yeah. Thank you, bro. Turns out when you eat food on the internet, you get free food sometimes. Pretty gentleman-like, you know, all class. We got the cow intestines and a taco. Let's try it out. Ah, crunchy. So spicy. It's like almost like bacon. Like when you get well done bacon and my mouth is on fire. So we're gonna have to wrap this up soon. I think this is probably one of the best ones yet. The little crunchy texture is pretty nice. Different, crunchy, losing brain cells, it. But, but you taste it. Right? Some of the other places was so hot you couldn't taste a thing. This is perfect. Is it 10 out of 10? Forget it, I'm gonna say 10 out of 10. Awesome. This is for you guys. This is some baseball caps, some oh, of our stickers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Thank you, bro. When we got pulled over earlier, they referred us to King Taco. It's a chain with 20 locations. According to the officers, it's supposed to be pretty good. The line was a little too long, so we decided to go back and meet up with the rest of the team. I bet the food is really good because of how long that line was. Let's go meet up with the boys. Hey, what are you wearing? Huh? Oh, what, you guys didn't get hats and stickers? Did you guys have fun? Yeah. No. Yes. <laughs> it's so fun, they do the best. Because we already talked about our tacos all day, I say we all finish with one highlight of the day each. My highlight of the day was not actually a taco, it was the live sea urchin and raw scallop that we ate at that second spot we visited, just after Taco Bell. Where did you guys go? <laughs> we see everybody you're eating uni. My favorite part of the day was getting free hats, free stickers, and free tacos from the best spot out of all of them. Yeah. How about that, that good? Nicholas? Was it that good? It was. Oh, it's class. I don't know. I don't even remember any of it. Uh, Just eating, taking pictures with the fans. Kush had a lot of those. Being a gentleman, eating beef tripe, riding around in a Lamborghini, and uh, you know, eating tacos. My favorite thing was meeting some really, really nice cops. We also know that many of the taco places are only open from 5 p.m. to 3 a.m. And frankly, that's past all of our bedtime. Now we're gonna head into the CVS to get some baby wipes and head home. 
It's just my birthday and apparently Nick has a surprise. What is this? Oh, it's sick. Oh, that's so cool. Nick got me a copy of my own streaming award. Even my name's right there. <laughs>